OK, so you want to know how to freeze rows and or columns in Excel. Now, the basic principle here is you only need to select one cell to freeze panes. So if I wanted to freeze these top rows here so that I can always see my column headings, all I need to do is select one cell beneath those rows, so immediately beneath those rows. So if I select A5, then these four rows will be frozen. Let's see how it works. So having selected that cell, I go to the View tab on the ribbon, Freeze Panes, Freeze Panes. You can ignore these top two options. So now if I scroll up and down, you can see that those four rows stay visible. Now to unfreeze panes, it doesn't matter which cell you've selected in your worksheet. You just go straight back to Freeze Panes and Unfreeze Panes. Now if you want to freeze columns, say I wanted to freeze these two columns here, then all I need to do is to click in a column to the right of those columns, so immediately to the right of those columns. So I would select C1. Again, I'll go up to Freeze Panes and then Freeze Panes. So now if I scroll left and right, you'll see that those two columns remain visible on the screen. And if I want to unfreeze those columns, it doesn't matter where I click in my worksheet, I can go back to Freeze Panes and then Unfreeze Panes. So what if I want to freeze both rows and columns? Say I want to freeze these four rows and these two columns. All I need to do is select one cell and that cell has got to be beneath, immediately beneath the rows I want to freeze and immediately to the right of the columns I want to freeze. So if I want to freeze these four rows and these two columns, I would select this cell here. Then I'd go to the View tab again, Freeze Panes and Freeze Panes. So now if I scroll up and down, those rows remain on the screen. And if I scroll right and left, those two columns remain on the screen. And if I want to remove Freeze Panes, it doesn't matter which cell I have selected in the sheet, I just go back to Freeze Panes and Unfreeze Panes. Now, just a bonus tip for you, if you put your data in an Excel table, and you do that by clicking anywhere in your data, and then going up to Insert and Table, clicking on OK in this dialog box, what you'll find is, is that when you scroll down your data, the column headings remain visible on the screen. But this is not quite the same as Freeze Panes. The column headings actually replace the letters that normally appear across the top of your worksheet. Now, it doesn't work for freezing columns, but it does for freezing those column headings. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.